It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. What's good? It's Madam Mobile Myth here, I'm backing up with another Madam Mobile 21 video on the channel today. We got the Ultimate Legends. I'll be showing you how you can get the 90 overalls. We got two different like types of 90s. Uh, we got this one right here. Uh, they show you an example on the news tab screen. So if you click on these 90s and you flip the card twice, it pops up a Ultimate Legends Series 1 Prime Edition. Prime Edition cards have like an orange star on the card. Uh, on the main card or on the background, it just has like a little like legend like you know a little cool blur in the background of them being a legend and all that good stuff and then on this card flip twice it's ultimate series one iconic edition now there is pr right wait, wait a second prime right did i say prime yeah so there's prime and there's iconic so you got your prime with the orange star and you get your iconic with the silver star in the background so there's two different types and you're gonna need to know those two different types i'll be explaining that right now before i do make sure you drop a like down below and as well subscribe to the channel with your post notifications on so you never sign a video like this one and let's get right into it um this is pretty dope uh we got the sneak peeks yesterday checked out everything now i'm gonna explain a lot of stuff now um if you saw the sneak peeks yesterday there was um, stamina now yes we get to use stamina through these events it's only a one-time thing throughout everything uh there's three events on this side three events on the other time that's 600 of these points okay so you get 600 ultimate legend series one token the tokens will help you get um collectibles and then you can trade those collectibles in for 89s and or 90s the supreme event it was first um stamina then it turns to program stamina so the first time you play this with program stamina you get an 89 and a collectible i'll pop those screenshots on the screen uh from you know when i got it i got the Dion sanders 89 which was pretty dope they gave us a free 89 with the collectible just to get us started and i'm pretty sure they're going to be doing that every day so for anyone who's having you know trouble playing throughout these events or you know doing what they can do throughout this i'm gonna pop up this thing right there on the screen and just explain um about you know what this is all about so uh complete all six x players events to unlock the ultimate challenge event that allows you to select between two upstart legends and their jersey item so what that means is you just play through the say you know the three events on one side three events on the other side you unlock the you know main uh supreme you know events you get an 89 legend and a jersey um complete the ultimate challenge to reveal the ultimate blitz event the ultimate blitz event and vip events provide chances to supreme ultimate legend shard and other rewards i, I don't require you to do vip it is five dollars don't do that okay um it is cheap, but it's not that good, okay? Collect 100x shards during each series of Ultimate Legends to obtain the Supreme Ultimate Legend. Now, while you're going through the Supreme, you will get one, I'm pretty sure, um, shard for Strahan. So that's a way you can go ahead and get a shard for Strahan. Um, I'm pretty sure you can, there's another way and other ways to do that as well. So yeah, that's just something I wanted to include um, for you guys, just in case you didn't know. So before we go into the sets, I'm in the rewards right now, in the Ultimate Legends, all the possible reward players you can get. Now, the 90 overalls, if you, you know, go here, you can check uh, this Chad Johnson, the uh, Prime one has a, the different one, and then the Iconic one. There's two different versions of every single 90 overall, every single Legend. There's multiple versions because you're going to need one in the set for one other set and all that good stuff. I'll explain that pretty soon because it probably is confusing to most of you um, and all that stuff. But yeah, pretty dope. Let's go straight into the sets right now and let me break this down. Now, I will be dropping how to get the 96s later on today so make sure you do have your post notifications on for that video um there's more requirements for these things so yeah i'm just gonna break down how to you know get one of these 90s because you need the 90 to put it into the 96 so this will help you uh benefit to the 96s and i will go back towards this and the video i drop later on but not too much this is more in in an in, in-depth version of how to get the 90 than a little basic like that's how you do it and move on i'm using chad johnson for the example of today's video i started him for that specific reason now, you need any badges and your 90 overall Chad Johnson, prime Chad Johnson. Okay, you need the prime one. Now, uh, let me go ahead and get my stuff back because I put them in this one. I'm going to explain this up here first, the players one. So, if you, uh, you know, play through everything, which um, it's, a, it's a grind to go ahead and get all this stuff. Okay, it is, a, it is a real grind. Now, if you do have gems, you can go to the store and buy, you know, gem packs, get ready, get, you know, better stuff, just 
help yourself get more collectibles, more players to get these players a little bit faster. Now, if you don't have that route, you're going to have to grind right now, um, you know, the promo. And you're going to have to wait till tomorrow just to get more stuff. And that's how it's going to go. But remember, you have four weeks to grind as like much of these players as you want. So keep that in mind. This is just series one. We're going to get like the next series and the next one and the next one. So uh, you're going to want to put collectibles, a.k.a. these jerseys, into um, the 89, any of them. And then you take the 89 with any of the jerseys and put them into the 90. Now, this is not a select pack. Read your rewards, okay? It does not say select pack. It says random prime edition player. And you do not want a random prime edition player only because you don't want one of those, okay? Uh, scroll down here. Right here, I just started that one. Uh, you're going to have to put a selective jersey in with the 89 that EA has gave to us, which was pretty dope. Thank you, EA, for giving us a free 89. Uh, but now, how do you get all these other jerseys? Now, every day um, from the like the prime time event, um, basically in the middle, um, the main event that's locked. So you have to play the side events first before you can unlock the middle event. And today we played it. We got a 89, right? And a jersey. Now, I'm pretty sure if you open packs or grind through the game, you can get lucky by pulling a jersey and or, you know, getting one throughout all that stuff. But I'm pretty sure throughout the prom time event, we have chances just to claim one of these every single day. So you could be looking forward to getting an 89 and or a jersey every single day. So keep that in mind. That will also help you keep grinding. Also, to get more jerseys, um, grind through the live events get 1k get a jersey it's that simple and i'm not gonna lie to you it is a grind okay it is 100 percent going to be a grind it's not going to be a piece of cake um this is kind of a grinding thing if you look back at the legends uh when the legends first dropped it was a grind to do it when they first came out it wasn't you know that easy uh but then once the you know more came out and more came out and throughout uh, you know the weeks down the road they kind of got easier uh, you kind of figured out what to do throughout what you were doing and it was pretty nice okay so before i end off this video i just you know want to explain one last thing now the chad johnson's the example of this video but i just want to just say um everything that i just showed you uh throughout the you know all these player sets and exchange stuff and all this stuff um basically it requires for any of these 90s okay say you want to go ahead and get this Deion sanders any badges um your prime player basically just you know when you go down here select this prime player um i don't require you to do a random player because you can get any of these guys and if you don't want a guy uh you're just gonna get a 90 overall that will be sitting there because they are non auctionable which kind of sucks um because they're just collectibles and all that's good stuff but um yeah so going back to the chad johnson because he's the example of the video um you need a prime you know chad johnson uh, to get the iconic Jen Johnson. So you take the iconic one, you put it into this. So you're done with the iconic. Now you just need to get one more, um, you know, prime Chad Johnson. And then you can go ahead and get the 89, which when uh, the event comes out for the 89, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can go ahead and complete um, the 89 overall just by training any jerseys. That's what just, just you got to grind. Okay. Grind through the live events. Do what you could do. Try to get the 90s right now. Um, it could take. It could take today. It could take tomorrow. It could take the next day. It doesn't really matter. You have four weeks to grind for these. Just remember that. And just remember as well, um, as new cards come out in the events, you can play through all that stuff, get more of the Ultimate Legend tokens. You can go ahead and get more jerseys and just grind uh, these you know, sets just to get more players. Just do what you can do right now. Uh, this is just Series 1. So if you are looking at these players and you want to get one Pacific player, focus on that one Pacific player then wait for series two to come out and then you can grind those i'm pretty sure that all the tokens and everything you've been grinding for uh from the series one will be passed on to the series two uh nothing will probably change but the players obviously hopefully you guys did enjoy this video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace